All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And before we get into this week's housing market report for the week of September the 16th, 2024, we had a special giveaway that we announced in this video. And we did that drawing as stated we were gonna do on September the 14th. So let's announce the winner. All right, so the LSU game has come and went. And as many of you may have seen, we, we don't wanna talk about that still. Still a sensitive subject. However, our drawing, was to be held for this weekend. And we have our list of names here. This is a random name picker and we are about to pick our winner. And here we go. Savannah Church 2071. All right, so there you have it. Congratulations to Savannah Church 2071. What we need you to do is find our email address down in the description and send a screenshot verifying the ownership of your YouTube account along with an address and a shirt size and the color of jersey that you want and we will get that shipped right over to you. So again, that's an email with verification of your account ownership that you are in fact Savannah Church 2071. So we're sending the prize to the right person. We need the shirt size, small, medium, large and the color jersey that you want, white, black or garnet. And we will get that ordered and sent right over to you. And thank you for your viewership and your participation in that giveaway. And go Gamecocks. As I said, that was a tough loss, but we won't talk about that because this is a housing market report. And so let's jump right into that. So currently median list prices in Florence, and that is median list prices, are $298,137. The average days on market currently, as we've talked about at length over recent weeks, is starting to climb but slowly it's still an active time of the market for us but that average days on market is starting to slowly climb as you can see we're at 78 as of september the 13th price per square foot relatively no change there home prices are up higher than they've been in years and potentially climbing now one of the key things that we wanted to keep an eye on because these are the things that really determine what the home buying or selling experience is going to look like for you that's what we do here on this show and on this channel really is try to provide the data and information that really actually matters. This is the relative data that is actually going to determine what your experience is like in our local housing market. And it's important to keep up with because these things fluctuate and change. There's the natural ebb and flow, the cyclical nature of local housing markets, but then there's also external factors that we can view these specific data points, these metrics and determine how are these external variables impacting our local housing market, such as mortgage rates would be an obvious one. So if there's any significant shift there, how is that impacting our local market? This is the data that's relative to you, whether you're a seller or a buyer. And properties with a price decrease is a very significant metric. These are properties that get listed, but have to decrease their price before ultimately going under contract and being sold. And as you can see, since mid-July, that numbers continue to go up. And as we stated it, it would continue to do so all the way on through spring of next year. Of course, taking into account the responsibility of sellers and listing agents as they adapt to the portion of our season that we're in and understanding that. But ultimately, you would expect to see that number to be going up at this time of the year. And that's exactly what we see. Now, the other thing that I want to point out that's really encouraging is that inventory as at higher levels in our local market here in Florence and it's been in four years. So that's a really encouraging thing, especially for you home buyers. And when you factor in the average days on market increasing, albeit very slowly at this point, when you factor in properties with a price decrease increasing at this time of the year, along with inventory levels being higher than they've been in four years, what does that spell out? Good opportunities for you home buyers. And this is why our market action index, as you can see here, is slightly down, leaning closer towards a, a neutral market and or a buyer's advantage than it was this time last month. Now, it's just a slight shift from where we were last month, but you can see that as this goes down, the, the lower this is, the more of an advantage the market is indicating for buyers. The higher it is, the more of a seller's market it is. And you can see that we have been on the decline since the second week of July, which is to be expected. We've talked about that a lot on these shows, so I'm not going to get into all that. But the bottom line is that's exactly what we're seeing. So when you can get these advantages and have a good selection of inventory to select from in the marketplace, that's a good situation for home buyers out there, especially if mortgage rates continue to be more favorable for home buyers. So now 
is a really good time to buy if you've been looking to buy in the Florence area. Doesn't mean that it's a horrible time to sell either necessarily because remember, median list prices are up and the reason is because home prices are up. So you can look at the price per square foot and just see that homes are significantly more expensive than they were a couple years ago. But even last year, home prices in Florence are up as you can see right here. So there's really opportunity no matter what side you're on. It's just about setting expectations so that you go into the marketplace, regardless of what role you have in the transaction of understanding what the data suggests and states clearly in a lot of cases, you're gonna be looking at. One more thing that I wanted to point out is the percent of list price. Now, what we were looking at in the last report, which by the way, you can receive those reports for free to your inbox. That data updates weekly from Friday to Friday. I'd be happy to send them to you. I just need your email address. You can get those for free so that you can keep your own tabs on the marketplace in any zip code in any city in America. This is retro data that we're looking at now. So these are sold homes for the month of August. And in August, the percent of list price, that means that homes were listed at X amount of dollars but they actually were sold for this amount of dollars was 97.7%. To set a decent expectation for home sellers of around 98% of your list price, you could expect to go under contract and have that home sold if you're basing off of last month's data. Now, I'm a little bit bigger personally on current data and projected uh, near future data as best we can but that doesn't mean that past data is not relevant. It certainly is. I just think that in a lot of circles, the current data gets overlooked. And I think that's a mistake. Current data is very relevant. When you talk about homes that were sold in August, that's past data. And you say, well, it was just a couple of weeks ago. Not exactly. If you put a home under contract today based on August data and the average closing is going to be about 30 days, then where does that put you? That puts you in mid-October. So by the time you close that property, you're now a month and a half, two months away from where this data is coming from. And so I just think being aware of that has to be taken into account when you're running analytics on housing market. So with that being said, for the month of August in our entire MLS, homes that were listed sold on average at 97.7% of the list price, meaning that if you listed the home at $100,000, you could reasonably expect that an offer that came through for $97,700 was statistically on par and therefore could be factored in into your decision making. Now, of course, the last thing I want to say, and then we'll wrap up this week's show, is all of this data is relative. When it comes to buying and selling property, every property is unique in the sense that it's a case-to-case -case basis. So each property has a different underlying story. There's different circumstances with the house. There could be problems with the ceiling, problems with the foundation. This could be more updated than this. There's And you're competing next door to a house that is... Um, less updated or more updated. You have the comps in the neighborhood. There's, there's all of these different factors that go into correctly pricing a home. And that's extremely relevant, whether you're a seller or a buyer, you want to make sure that you're working with a realtor that is well-versed, that is well-educated, that is thorough and um, accurate in how they assess and approach home pricing for obvious reasons. If you're a seller, you want to list, if you overprice the home, it's gonna sit forever, you're gonna waste a bunch of your time. If you underprice the home, you're leaving money on the table. Same thing with buyers, okay? You wanna submit an offer that's going to get accepted, at least most buyers do. Some buyers just wanna throw feelers out there and kick the tires on properties, but a lot of you buyers out there wanna submit an offer when you've decided to get to that point that you wanna get it accepted. Well, in order to do that, the first thing to do is to accurately assess what the correct price for that house is. And then you can work your way down or up, depending on the heat of the market from there. And I'll say it like this, and this will be the last practical example I'll give of this, but just making this stuff real life. Let's talk about stuff that's actually going to matter when you get into a transaction. You don't want to get outbid by Joe Blow over here by $1,500 on a house that you really wanted to get because you didn't put the pricing strategy and all of those peripheral details 
under the microscope and make sure that when you submitted that offer, that wasn't the offer that was overkill, but it was the offer that was going to get you into the home and you would not have been outbid by $1,500. And this stuff can get very precise. So all of these analytics, all of these metrics, all of this minute detail that goes into pricing strategies is really important. And it could be the very thin line that becomes a make or break situation and whether or not you get into a home that you wanted. And it happens. And the fact of the matter is in South Carolina, a lot of times there are no second chances. If a seller has three offers on the table and they say, we're reviewing these, uh, we're cutting it off at 6 p.m. tonight. We're going to review these and make a decision this evening. If your offer isn't the strongest of those three, then guess what? You get a letter of rejection. You find out that night or the next morning you're not getting the house and it's back to square one in your home search. And for some people that can be very disappointing. So these are the type of things to consider. This is why we do these weekly shows to keep you up to beat on what is going on currently in our local housing market in Florence. And if you enjoy and appreciate these videos, please give the video a like. It helps us out a lot and we really do appreciate it. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for future content and future giveaways, just like the one that we announced the winner of today. So again, congratulations to Savannah Church 2017. Congratulations to Savannah and we look forward to seeing y'all on the next video.